Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Last time we defeated the last boss of the Pure Land, and now... Where are we? I don't know. Look. Oh hey, it's uh... It's the mana tree. Yeah, it's that huge tree sticking out of there. Hmm, I don't know how we missed that. You know, you come up to that cliff there, you see this huge, huge object. Completely unmissable. Where we are we? Yay, let's revive the mana sword. Yeah, let's do it. Now we can get our... Or let's do it so we can get our magic up to level 8. Yay! Which means more magic grinding. Yay! Yeah, you want to get your magic up to level 8, you have to cast a certain element spell 50 times. Good thing there's no level 9 or anything beyond that. That would just be way too much work. Yep, so much has happened, and now we're at the mana tree. And, you know, let's just have a picnic right here while, uh, you know, evil forces are doing their work. Yep, let's just sit here talking all the time. All the while, la 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 la. Yep. Looks like the looks like the bad guys found the mana tree. And, uh, hmm, I guess the uh, mana tree was a boss, and they defeated it. Wow, we were blown clear to the base. It'd be hard to get up from that one. <laughs> Who, me? Okay. I don't want to go to school, though. Of course it's Thanatos. Man, the sprite's pretty angry there. You, it is I. Yep, it looks like the Mana Sword is our last resort. We're gonna have to beat up the Mana Beast. like Saren was our father. Famous warrior. And uh, the boy is apparently a member of the Banna tribe. And his mother is a tree. That'd be a good sitcom. My mother the tree. Alright, sword power at maximum. Now we can get everything up to level 8. And kick some ass. Yeah, sorry I haven't been much of a mother to you. Uh, I've been kind of stuck as a tree for the last dozens of years. And I'm also stuck up here in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, have you gone on any dates yet, son? Mommy, where are you? Yeah, it is nuts. You're talking to a tree. How do you know she doesn't have a mother? And we're all orphans, of course. Except for the girl, she still has her dad. But uh, I guess they don't get along too well. Yep, we still got a big job. We have to go to the Mana Fortress. 
Hooray! Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, and before we go to the Mana Fortress, I'm going to show you two tricks. Uh, one involves uh, leveling your sword up to level 9. This is the only way you can do it. It's... I guess it should be considered cheating, because you're not supposed to. There is a legitimate way to get your sword up to level 9, but uh, it's not permanent. Alright, so what you do is you find Watt somewhere and uh, level your sword up to level 8. There we go. And now what you do is you call Flamey. I did it in Ace Country because you have to do it here. Alright, so call Flamey and uh, right on the north part of the uh, ice continent here there's a little island, a little circular island right over here. Land there and you'll find Neko. And talk to him, save your game. And get ready to soft reset, which is pressing LR, start, and select at the same time, right after you save. Alright, so we save, now it's soft reset. Alright, and from here, start a new game. Whatever, call him AA. So now we have to go through the intro all over again. But it's such a good intro, let's see it for a second time. Well, there's our next destination, the Mana Fortress. That's where we fought Geshtar for the last time. Sort of looks like pure land. Yep, history is repeating. Of course, we already know this having played through pretty much all the game. Alright, so we're still goofing around on the waterfall here. And we are a clutch as always. Yeah, it's the mana sword dummy. Yep, let's find it. I'm going to take a shortcut. Whee! Well, after using cannon travel, fall like that should be nothing. I mean, he even has water to land in. I guess people back then were a lot more tough. Nowadays, people scrape their knees and, you know, lawsuits are abound. People go to the emergency visit- or people go visit the emergency room after getting a paper cut. Well, at least in, in a countries where there's free health care. Or if you have health insurance. If not, you fall from a waterfall, in you get up. Walk it off. Alright, yeah. Bye, Daddy. Yes, Father. We're gonna go save the world again, Father. Alright, so now... We have to go make our way back to Poto's village. And, uh, yeah, just ignore all the enemies on the way back. I don't know if it really affects anything, but there's really no reason to fight them at all. We're not going to do anything with this file.
seems so much shorter when you're just walking straight through it. Down through our first area. My, we've grown up. Alright, we're back here in Poto, so just make your way right to uh, the Elder there. Now, uh, get ready to soft reset again. Right after you fall into the hole with the Mantis Ant, and Timothy says, You've got a sword, use it. That's when you're going to want to soft reset again, and you're going to... I think uh, you need to hold down LR start select for at least 5 seconds when you soft reset that time. Just as a warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Elliot. I'll chop your head off. Earthquake. Yeah, who's the big tough man now, huh? Alright, right here. Soft reset, hold the buttons for five or five or so seconds. There we go, and then load up your save file that you made with Neko at the ice country. And I did it right. Then you just kill the man to send one shot. There we go. What's Elliot doing there? He looks like he's getting ready to squeal like a pig. You're gonna get Ned beady eyesed. The girl's gonna stick her spear right up your ass. Yeah, that's right, you're gonna cry after that. Alright, and uh, as you can see, we got another Swords Orb from that fight. So now we can go to Watts and forge our sword up to level 9, which we wouldn't be able to do otherwise. But there is a legitimate way to get your sword up to level 9, but that's not going to happen. Oh, well, I'll tell you when it happens. Alright, and uh, before we visit Watts, there's uh, one other thing you can do here at Poto's Village. If you want to get back in, I'll show you. Just land back at Poto's Village, get everything back to normal. And just uh, keep pressing up and press select over and over and over again, and you can get through the guy. And uh, make sure you do this one uh, after you get the uh, flamey drum, because otherwise you won't be able to leave Potus Village once you get back in. Alright, so let's go back up to Ice Country. And uh, I'm not going the right way. Now I am. I think. Uh, where am I? Okay, I have to hit a sharp left. And there we go. Let's go get our sword forged up to level 9. And after I finish this video, I'm not going to keep this, but... Yeah. Just a little demonstration. There we go, and we get... The Mana Sword. So, uh, yeah, let's go show this off. Kill some, uh, kill some of these howlers. You know what? Let's do, um, let's get some, get some moon energy to go with this. Oh, yeah, we're gonna be wailing on these guys really, really bad. Look at that, 674. 680s. I mean, it's obscene how powerful this sword is if you want to do this. It makes the final area of the game just a cakewalk. And the final boss, too. Right, and, uh, yeah, uh, moon energy wore off, and now we're doing about 325 damage per strike. It's about double what we were doing before. 
Alright, anyway, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana.